Hi guys, this is Limestock, and today we are going to be talking about the exchange in the gut. So the food you eat is digested into sugars like glucose and amino acids, and these are needed to provide fuel for respiration. Um, as a result, there has to be a successful exchange surface so these can reach the bloodstream. So for digestive mole molecules to reach your cells, they must move from the small intestine into the bloodstream, and they do this by a combination of diffusion and active transport. Now, the digestive food molecules are small enough to pass freely through the walls of the small intestine into the blood vessels. Now, these move into the blood by diffusion down a steep concentration gradient. Now, the inside of the small intestine is covered by millions of villi, which greatly increase the uptake of digestive food from diffusion. Now, they increase the surface area, which means that there is more room for diffusion to take place. Now, each indi uh, individual villi is also covered by microvilli, which increases the surface area even more. Now, this means that the lining of the small intestine has an excellent blood supply, which carries away the digestive food once they have been diffused. Now, this means that, um, this means that diffusion is very effective down the concentration gradient. Now, in the gut, there also has to be a little bit of active transport. Um, now, sometimes the glucose and other uh, dissolved molecules are more frequent in the blood than the intestine. Now, this means that the glucose is moved from the small intestine into the blood by active transport. Now, active transport is where the molecules move against the um, concentration gradient, and this means that none of the digestive food is wasted. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you understand it, and please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Thank you and see you soon, bye.